This is the dam that regulates the flow of what is left of the San Joaquin River. Behind it is Millerton Lake, holding the water that used to support magnificent runs of salmon. I'm standing in a campground here, and I'm sure that most of the campers that camp here have no idea at what cost this recreational area was formed. It's water that no longer flows down the river to keep the mighty runs of fish in existence. This behind me is salmon water. Fresh from touring the farmlands that you've seen in this program, Larry Collins was asked by a documentary film crew about an often heard comment made by agriculture interests that it is a waste of fresh water to let it flow out through the Delta, through the San Francisco Bay, and out to the ocean. Ah, uh, the myth of wasted water. I love that, yeah. You know, if you look at all the water being wasted that's drying up in puddles beside the highways and in parking lots of McDonald's down in the valley, you want to talk about wasted water. Every time this bay gets flushed with water, it's good for the crab production, it's good for the herring production, it's good for the salmon production. That's not wasted water. We got promised back in 92, 800,000 acre feet of water a year was supposed to flow through the bay. It hasn't happened once. The Central Valley Improvement Act was supposed to double the amount of salmon. Well, guess what? It hasn't happened. All we've watched is these agri giant agribusinesses fight for more and more and more water to grow crops that are worth less and less and less. There are five species of salmon in Pacific waters, but only one, the California king, or Chinook. People love to eat wild California king salmon. And it's their right as Californians to do that. And people need to speak up. The, the, the empty chair at this table is the consumer. It's being forced to eat farm fish and fish from Alaska. This wild California king salmon out here is the best salmon in the world. And we're going to grow some almonds instead. I don't think so. Interstate 5 is a seemingly never-ending line of cars and trucks passing through the heart of the ongoing battle over how California's water resources are passed around. I think agriculture is going to have to give up some water. Uh, there's no way around that. Uh, uh, but I don't think that that's necessarily a bad thing for agriculture. In the last 20 years, there was uh, maybe 30,000, 40,000 acres of almonds. Now there are 650,000 acres of almonds in the San Joaquin Valley. Just in the last four years alone, the price has dropped from near $4 a pound to between $1 and $2 a pound. So if we planted another 50,000 acres of almonds and used the water for that, is that going to help the almond industry that's already glutted with surplus? Is this the best that we can do? Our best and brightest in California? is gonna waste all that water in the valley while this fleet stays tied up? That's the best we can do? I mean, you see what kind of trouble we're in in this state. It's time to make some really hard decisions. And one of the really hard decisions is no new acreage under development, period. Right now, stop. The California Wild King Salmon Fishery is truly remarkable. It is one of the most hardy and sustainable fisheries, even when human need and greed conspire to thwart their existence. But their ability to survive is in jeopardy. Clearly, the most recent biological opinion done by the National Marine Fisheries Service, as well as the biological opinion done for Delta smelt by the Fish and Wildlife Service, point clearly to the fact that it's in Delta that where the problem is, and the principal problem is, is we're taking too much water. The commercial fishermen who for two years have not been able to fish for salmon are struggling to keep their small, family-owned boats a viable business. 
The water interests that control the flow must do what scientists and the courts tell them needs to be done in order to support a healthy salmon fishery. If they resist, fighting against logic and focusing on their self-interests, a way of life will disappear. And if that happens, we all lose. Just you're out there uh, on the ocean uh, pulling in fish and uh, you know, you're traveling up and down the coast. It's, uh, it's a pretty uh, freeing kind of life, you know? It's, uh, it's a great way to live. Um, it'd, be a, it'd be a shame if uh, that was taken away. We, you know, there's, there's a lot of people we support with these boats. It's not just us and our family, it's all the fish buyers, it's the restaurants, it's the servers that serve the plates to the people, it's the dishwashers, it's, it flows downhill. This boat supports more than just my family, it supports many families with the product that I catch with this boat. The Delta, the Salmon, our coastal communities are too important to lose because we refuse to manage our water resources well because we've allowed a few large entities and their greed to basically put at risk so much that, that we treasure in this state. We need salmon water now. Protecting the salmon to ensure their survivability requires that all water stakeholders work together. You know, we can have agriculture in the valley, healthy fishing fleets on the coast. There's enough water if we share it for both the crops down in the valley and the fish in the rivers, and for fishermen and farmers to work. We got to work together and share this water. We can do it. Let's fix this. We started this program saying that something's not right. This empty San Francisco dock isn't right. In the middle of what should be salmon season, there are no boats because there is no season. That's not right. This is what it should look like. Boats lined up, fishermen offloading their catch, putting fresh ice and supplies on board, and heading back out to sea to do what they do best. Commercial and sport fishermen want that. Lovers of healthy food want that. After all, California King Salmon is great for your heart. And when we have healthy runs of salmon, that's good for our souls. Thanks to the species' own ability to survive, wild California King Salmon is still with us, for now. But sharing limited water resources requires constant vigilance against those who would put greed and profit above doing the right thing. Here's what you can do to make what is wrong right again. Spread the word. Salmon water. Now. <laughs>